to the channel. So in the wood shop today, uh, every now and then I do sell a little bit of wood if I have a friend or know somebody that's got some kind of cool project they want to work on and they want some, you know, need, need some nice hardwood and don't want to get raked over the coals by a local hardwood dealer. Nonetheless, um, one of the things they always ask me, because all of my stuff is live edge on both sides, they always ask me, so I mean, how do you go about breaking this stuff down into lumber? Um, and I generally try to give them a quick run through, so I thought, you know, I'll make a little quick video today um, about that. And uh, another thing with that too is, I try to never waste anything. And one thing I've definitely come to find is that more often than not, the ugliest piece of wood uh, generally will make some of the prettiest lumber. And uh, I was uh, selling some lumber to a guy that I know, some hickory for a table that he was building. And we were sorting through it. And one of the pieces I was going to use, he looks down and he's like, that looks like it's got something growing on it, man. And it was kind of funky and everything. And he was like, well, I don't think I want that one. And I was like, you really don't want that? I think that'll probably be pretty awesome looking wood in there. He's like, you think so? I was like, yeah, I mean, I know so. But if you don't want it, that's fine. We'll kick it to the side. And then, long story short, he was like, yeah, if you think it'll work, that's cool. You know, we'll go with it. So that's what this video is about today. Um, saving what somebody else might think is garbage. Uh, so, you know, just uh, making the most of nature's bounty. So uh, here we go, check out the video. Hope you like it. So here's our initial test subject. Got like a little gangrene on there and some rot, some wormholes, uh, you know, just pretty much the ugliest piece of wood you've ever seen. I'm going to show you how to turn ugly wood into some beautiful lumber. All right, so first things first, this is our thinnest end. Bark edge kind of went up to about right in here. And on this side, it's about right here. This stuff out here, there's a little bit of good wood in the middle, but it's a little bit punky and it's kind of got like a little, uh, it's kind of bent up anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this dude off right about here. I can still get probably four inches of good wood. So I'm gonna start with right here, we'll cut it off. And then um, once we cut it off, we'll get a look at the end of it and see if we still got punky wood or if we got good wood. So we're gonna start with that. spalting in here and that was a pretty good guess we got some pretty good solid wood right there in the middle actually could probably cut this down and get maybe a little three inch strip down the middle here some good wood maybe we'll come back to that later set that to the side I do not like to waste nature's bounty all right so what I actually need out of this I'm gonna need a good cut that's about four inches wide and um, about 30, uh, 36 inches long is where we're gonna kind of rough figure it. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure out 36 inches, cut us off a chunk here and get started working with it. Not gonna be super fancy with it, just hacking it off anyway, so. Just get her in here, lay it down. Just a little bit because I know once I run it through the planer and the joiner, it's gonna 
come down that face, which is going to make our piece actually wider. piece it's not going to be straight but whatever I lop off the side of this thing if it's usable I will save it. I do not like to waste wood. Alright let's go to the bandsaw. up now is I'm going to take it over here to the bench and I'm going to figure out which side has a little bit of cup to it because that's the side I'm going to want to put down on my joiner and uh, we'll come back and we'll go to our joiner. Get it all flattened out nicely. 
to match this side. So we're going to shoot it through the planer here and get it cleaned up. with either a natural oil or a stain and look absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna make a quick cut, square this end off, uh, actually square this end off. Then I'll come back, cut it to our final length off of this end and uh, this piece will be done. boards like this uh, you've got lots of colors and things like that it doesn't look like uh, something everybody else has when you make a project out of it now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna section up the rest of that uh, that full piece of board and uh, I'll show you what we get uh, out of the whole thing I'll show you the stack of lumber when we're done so in three two one well there you have it nice little pile of some really nice lumber lots of figure a little spalting ready to go into uh i believe table legs actually so there it is the most satisfying woodworking video on the internet enjoy